Welcome to Triple Trouble. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the clicker, uh, what it is and how you should use it. This is a clicker. It's called a clicker because it clicks. Um, we also call it a draw length indicator, uh, which means that when you pull back your bow up until a certain point, it will click and that's your cue to release or the cue that you know that you have reached a certain draw length and to make it consistent, uh, you have this device. So you can use a clicker in uh, multiple ways. Uh, you use it as a draw length indicator but that also means you have to set your draw length. Uh, using your clicker, you can either change from being too short or too long, um, and you have to figure this out yourself. Uh, one way to uh, figure this out is to just pull back your bow with your eyes closed. Uh, so aim at the target, basically. Pull back, eyes closed, stand in a comfortable stance, and then see if your coach can check your clicker length. For me, it's pretty much spot on right now. So uh, my clicker length is pretty comfortable. Um, and now I can uh, yeah, shoot my shot with the clicker. If you feel like uh, you're not comfortable in your shot, move your clicker until you find that point. If you find a position of the clicker that's comfortable for you, uh, try to, in your anchor, be as close to the clicker as possible. Um, it's normal that you don't have exact control, so you cannot be like a fraction of a millimeter, but um, maybe start off with five millimeters if you're comfortable with that, move back to four. Uh, and ideally, I would say one or two millimeters until the click. Uh, this means that you have less movement in your extension and it will be more controlled to get through the clicker. So no excess movement. If you have your clicker set up in a way that you have uh, very little to travel through in your extension, it will also mean that you have more control in your shot and more relaxation. You can pretty much anchor and just be like a tiny bit and move that tiny bit just by relaxing some muscles and, and tensing some other muscles um, to really uh, get a controlled shot. You can see that as soon as the string hits my face, so I'm an anchor, I don't have to move very much anymore before the clicker goes and I can release. This gives me a lot of control in my shooting. So a good thing to remark is that the clicker is not the end of the shot, but actually the beginning in my eyes. Uh, you work to the point of click and then that's actually when you make your shot. So um, there's two ways to shoot. Uh, I'll demonstrate the way that I uh, don't like to see it first, which is So the clicker, <laughs> the clicker goes and they just relax and uh, let the shot go. Um, I see it more as a, um, as a proactive thing. So you work towards the clicker uh, in a very subtle manner. And then when the clicker goes, you just relax your fingers and keep your back tension and keep all the tension towards the target so that you get a nice and uh, crispy, snappy shot. So I sometimes look at my clicker. This doesn't mean you stop aiming. Um, aiming is a motion and moving through the clicker will also set that motion. So um, just pull back, anchor, uh, keep moving and shoot your shot. Where your sight is doesn't really matter that much as long as it's close to the middle because you'll automatically correct to the middle when the clicker goes off. Another important thing about uh, using a clicker is that you are the boss over the clicker. The clicker is not the boss over you. So don't let the clicker decide when you shoot. It's still your shot. Uh, also, don't be scared of other people's clickers. Um, I like to feel my clicker in my, uh, in my riser, in my grip. Um, this is something that uh, I learned along the years, but uh, I think that helps me a lot because I won't get distracted by my opponent's clicker or my uh, teammate's clicker or whatever. Um, and a good way to train this is to just uh, shoot at the target at your uh, local uh, training base and just pull back. And then when the clicker goes, hold it for an extra second or so.
So just hold it that little bit longer so that you know that you're not uh, controlled by the clicker, but you control your shot. We hope this gives you some more understanding of what the clicker is and how you can use it. Um, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a like because it helps us out a lot. See you on the next one.